Here, Lynn Alley and Carly Chambers after Fremont Mills opens our season with a win over Bedford. Uh, ladies, it's always great to get a win, especially when you start the year. Uh, Lana, we'll start with you. Tell me your, your thoughts on tonight and how you guys are feeling. Um, you know, we started off a little rocky. First game jitters for sure. Um, but we definitely executed. Like, we had a game plan and we stuck to it. And we definitely executed the spots that we were supposed to hit. And our serves were really good. Our plan was to just serve them off the floor. And we definitely did that tonight. Carly, your thoughts on what you guys were able to do tonight? Uh, I thought we had an amazing offense, and that goes to our defense, obviously, giving us great balls. I mean, we worked really hard this season, especially in the beginning of the season, so it's great to come off with a win, especially an opener. Lana, you mentioned that you guys had a game plan. Uh, probably don't want to give away too many secrets, but elaborate on the things you guys tried to do well tonight. Um, well, for one, we tried to serve them off the floor, which we tried to do with every team, and it worked really well, you know. Short serves, deep serves, we, that's, we've been really hammering that in practice. And um, serve receive was good. And especially just uh, like hammering the spots that we did for, <laughs> that we did for the um, hitters. So we did that very well as well. You had a lot of success at the service line. Definitely in that first set kind of got things going. What were you seeing? What were you doing at the line? Um, to me? Yeah. OK. Um, we definitely. Can you repeat that? Sorry. Yeah, uh, I mean. I can't hear, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I know it's loud here. You had a lot of success in the service line tonight. What were you seeing? What were you doing that made that happen? Um, Definitely. I try to short serve, then deep serve. Um, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I just try to do that as much as I can, and it definitely messes with their head a little bit. So I try to do that as much as I can. The chemistry that you and Carly have was kind of evident when you were setting tonight. Speak to in that role. What are you trying to do to get her and the rest of the offense going? Um, definitely just get the sets there. They, we've been working on that in practice. They need the sets there, and I'm, I try to get it there. And if I get it there, they hammer it down. They do it, all the work for me. So, go over to Carly now. Uh, speak to the chemistry that you and Lana have, and, and what you were able to do well with her sets. Uh, yeah, I'm very thankful. Me and Lana have been playing for a few years. Obviously, we had last year. Uh, we had a great connection last year, and we could just continue that to this year. So, I mean, I'm lucky to have a setter like Lana. She can give me the ball when I need it, and I can just put it away. 1-0 is better than 0-1. How do you guys try to build off this? Uh, every game, we'll come in with the same mindset and hopefully come out with the same uh, finish. Well, ladies, uh, congrats and best of luck going forward. Thank you. All right, Coach, I mean, you start the year 1-0. That's always good. Tell me about tonight and what you saw that you liked. Yeah, um, our goal from this summer was to serve a team off the floor, and we definitely did that tonight. That's the biggest thing I'm proud of is our serving. Didn't start off exactly how I wanted it to, but um, we just need to start a little faster and make a little less errors in those first two beginning sets. That third set was more of what we'd like to see. You mentioned that the game plan was to serve well. and I mean, every it's easier said than done, right? How did you guys do that? What were the things that kind of stood out to you about your girls' the service line? Yeah, uh, we've really been working on that short, deep serve. So if you send them deep, then to send them short next. Um, so we've been really working on that in practice, and I think they did a good job of executing that tonight. Lana looked like a veteran setter, uh, which is what you want to see early in the year. What stood out to you about what she was able to do with the offense? Yeah, Lana does a lot for us. She is a hustle player, super athletic. She does what needs to be done for us. She's got the right mindset, and um, we're lucky to have her. Super talented. And Carly leads the offense uh, in terms of kills. What stood out to you about what she did? Yeah, we got Carly in a little bit of a different position this year with some setting and some offense, um, but she's our returning uh, leading hitter, so we expect that out of her this season. You mentioned that you know maybe the starts to the sets weren't how you guys wanted to, especially in sets one and two. What flipped? I mean, what kind of changed to allow you guys to eventually settle in? I think our girls just started off so amped up. They're so excited for that first game. And so it just took us that long to calm down. That's what we just talked about in the locker room was it's okay to be amped up, but you also have to find a way to calm down and play our volleyball. It's a long season, uh, but now you've got some data and some film to look at what you guys were able to do tonight. How do you try to build off this moving forward? Yeah, absolutely. Every time you play, there's an opportunity to grow in something, and every team's going to bring out a different weakness. So we're excited to attack the next week. Coach, congrats. Thank you.